here about with two seconds plus uh, left in the overtime. Yeah, they, they stopped the clock, I guess, for 2.5 seconds, and they put a stopwatch on it, and that's what it came down to. So the game was over before they called the jump ball. So. Brown made the three. What was the play supposed to be there that you called out of the time? Well, it was, we, it was either throw it to Dennis and, and let him score quick, which he, I think he could have, honestly, and then, and then foul. Um, or it's, a, it's kind of a screen-to-screener action on the other side. But Mick worked for me for 10 years, so. I think he had a pretty good idea. So from from our alignment, I think he knew what was coming. They did a good job guarding it. And it's like anything else, you know. You Dennis did Dennis had a great screen, an absolutely great screen. Okay, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting better. We get we get better every time they go out there, but. We just have those lapses, you know. We we play pretty good for a while, and then we then we have those lapses, and they they don't do what they're supposed to do. But you know, honestly, today we were supposed to double ball screen, and Dennis didn't double it the first time, and then we were supposed to switch it out of bounds, and KJ didn't switch it. So it's not just them. And but uh, yeah, and the the thing I that, that I think everybody's got to appreciate is how hard they compete. They don't give up. They don't. They just they continue to compete. You say to Trump after a day like this, wasn't he just missing shots? He had trouble holding on to the ball at times. And Tell him to take the rest of the day off and take tomorrow off. Come shoot some free throws if he wants, but don't get a workout in. Him and KJ play a lot of minutes, and they really need to take a little bit of time off, and then they, we'll get him back in here on Monday and get them shots. But it's hard to, it's hard to make shots when you don't have legs. And again, KJ really said his was, you know, his, he was tired yesterday, but apparently wasn't tired today. Considering where you were about to start the season, all the freshmen and everything, now you're second place in the Big East. In any way you could have figured that? Jack, I honestly didn't know. Um, we, we did the schedule to make sure that 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 one our our RPI our strength of schedule and everything was was good so that uh, you know I want to give them a chance to play in the NCAA tournament that's why they came here but I think it helped us it's you know if 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 you don't play anybody in the in in the preseason schedule and then you get in a game like this and it's the first time you guys have a tendency to panic and we've been in a bunch of them and and I think it I think it helps you. Especially when you're young, you know. When you're older, you should know better anyway. But when you're as young as we are, I think it helps us. I think our our non-conference schedule really helped us. Coach, what do you think it is about the young players you have? It seems like they've matured at a fairly quick rate this season. We don't give them a lot of choice. Um, you know, it, it, it's like I tell them all the time. I mean, the, the biggest reason why most of those guys were really excited about coming here—they knew we were going to play. Um, and they knew that we didn't have a whole lot of guys coming back. So they knew they were going to play. And the opportunity's been there for all of them. So, but we don't give them any choice. I mean, they, they, don't, they don't get babied. What are they talking about at the end of the regulation? And there's a couple seconds left. What the well, if you get here on time, <laughs> I mean, my God, Mitch, I mean, so you're going to bore everybody else with it because you weren't here on time. Um, what happened was, I guess, I guess the clock got shut off and, uh, for 2.5 seconds to when, the, when the scrum was going on. And they, I guess they, they put a stopwatch on it. Um, they, they put a stopwatch on it that... Uh, when the, the time that the clock was stopped and it came out to 2.5 seconds and there was whatever it was, 2.1, 2.3, whatever it was on the clock, so effectively time had run out. 
we're talking about make it work for your community. When you're coaching against somebody that knows you, is it more difficult to play the game and to coach the game then? Because you might know, you know, come out and you're set and all that kind of thing. You know what, Jack? I, I, sometimes maybe in, a, in something like, but coach the game now because, I mean, we're all on TV. We're on TV every game. So everybody we play has, well, you know, the St. John's will have 20 films on us if they care to use them. If you can't figure out what we're doing in 20 games, then you're probably in the wrong business. You know what I mean? So um, some, I think sometimes, sometimes like end of game situations or something like that, you got a, you got a feeling for kind of what's going on, but. Gary Brown, uh, every game, I mean, you know, he, 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 he gets the balls, he, nine rebounds. Uh, Coach has seven, the Browns at nine, and he doesn't seem like every game. What, what, what is it about him? Is it, is it hard? Is it quickness? Is it, uh, I think I think it's it's a lot of that. I I think one he's got good hands. You know he's got strong hands, and and he 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 can rebound it in a crowd because he has strong hands. But he's got a, you know it, great rebounders have a desire to go get the ball. Well, Kevin Jones has become a great rebounder because he wants he wants to get the rebound. And Gary Gary really he, he and he likes contact. So. From a coaching standpoint, you have won 15 games with this team this early. Mick, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't ever, I don't ever look at the schedule and say, well, we can win this one, we can miss that one. Your team is where you thought it would be. If I said that, I probably misspoke. Probably. I don't. I didn't. I think what I said was I didn't have any idea. I don't know. I mean, how am I supposed to know? I don't know. I. I don't. Contempt. Oh, I am. <laughs> no. No, I I think we should have beaten Baylor. Do you really? Yeah, I do. Oh, I think they. I think I think they would. All we got to do is make a free throw. I don't think they expect you to be fifteen and five at this stage. It's probably why I do what I do, and they do what they do. <laughs> Please. Coach, uh, you said before that you thought uh, Kevin Jones is the best player in the league. Do you think after a performance like this, if he keeps doing that, do you think he makes his case for uh, player of the year? If he keeps doing that, if he keeps getting, what did he get, 26 and 13? Yeah. yeah if, he's get, if he keeps getting 26 and 13, he ought to be national player of the year. Coach, when you call a timeout and you're down three and you take the time to draw the play, and it, as you watch it develop out on the court and it doesn't work out, what, what do you see there? What goes through your mind when that kind of things happen? We got a ball screen. Yeah. You know, and, and, and Dennis, Dennis set a great screen. I mean, that, that, those are the kind of things that get lost sometimes. Um, Gary, Gary got a great look and, and he got a step in shot and Dennis just kind of sealed two guys. And he, he set a great screen. But that's what you know. That's 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 what you tell them at the you know at the end of the at the end of the day. This is what we're going to run, and if it doesn't, we've got a ball screen, ball screen, and either either penetrate to where we can draw help and pitch it, or come off the ball screen clean. And and, and Gary came off of it's clean. It was more a dribble handoff really than it was a ball screen, but same thing, same principle. Thank you. Thank you, coach.